Okay, so this is our 1964 GM PD 4106 bus that's been converted to a motorhome. And a couple summers ago, we put a new engine in it and went through the transmission and clutch. And just recently this winter, we put a Shepard power steering system on it. And you can see where we took the front axle off completely and replaced it with an axle that was completely rebuilt. So it now has new bushings, new power steering box, new kingpins, tie rod ends, brakes, drums, S cams, slack adjusters, and it really goes over the road beautifully. But what we have here is the original muffler. <clears throat> and the only problem with the original muffler is, as you can see, it happens to have a three and a half inch outlet for a 8V71 with N65 injectors, advanced uh, injector timing, and the RPMs bumped up to 2450. So going down the road, when you're getting into it on a hill, uh, the temperatures start to come up. Now, this does happen to have the upgraded fan, which I'm not sure we can actually see, no. And it does have a new radiator, um, about four, four or five years ago, with an oversized core. So, I think the overheating issue is due to the fact that this thing is wheezing through a straw. So. This is a Donaldson muffler, and it is a 5-inch inlet and a 5-inch outlet, and as you might be able to see, it has practically no baffles whatsoever in it. So, this is the collector that is on this engine, <clears throat> and we basically go from, uh, I don't know, three and a half inch inlets to a six inch collector. I'm going to have to modify this adapter to fit over here as you can see. It's six inch, uh, I'm sorry, it's five inch outlet, six inch inlet, <clears throat> and then we'll put this this exhaust pipe, this elbow on it. effectively we'll have a five inch outlet. Now that I used to run on the bus, worked great, no overheating, tons of power, this is with the old engine, but it was so loud I literally would have the family station wagon pass me and the wife would stick out her middle finger at me and the kids would have their their fingers covering their ears. So I decided to be a little bit more socially responsible and go with this type of muffler, which should still be reasonably throaty, but um, stifle the noise quite a bit. So we're going to do a comparison. We're going to start it now, and you'll hear the stock muffler, <clears throat> and then I will install the upgraded muffler, and we'll have a sound comparison. So, here we go.
Okay, well, guess I'm going to have to take a look at that starter bindex, but that's the first time this bus has been started in probably two months, so not too bad. Anyhow, so <clears throat> our next installment will be the new muffler installed. Uh, and uh, I also hope to have a comparison uh, some 0 to 60 times as well. Thanks for watching.